My dear Mrs. Condamine, I came directly I got your message. That was very kind of you. Kind? Nonsense. Nothing kind about it. I look upon it as an outing. I'm so glad. Will you have some tea? China or Indian? China. Oh, good. I never touch Indian. It upsets my vibrations. Do sit down. I find this room very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I noticed it the other night. Two lumps of sugar, please, and no milk at all. I am profoundly disturbed, Madame Arcati, and I want your help. Aha! I thought as much. What's in these sandwiches? Cucumber? Couldn't be better. Fire away. It's most awfully difficult to explain. Facts first, explanations afterwards. It's the facts that are difficult to explain. They're so fantastic. Facts very often are. Come now, take the plunge. Out with it. You've heard strange noises in the night, no doubt. Boards creaking, door slamming, subdued moaning in the passages. Is that it? No, I'm afraid it isn't. No sudden gusts of cold wind, I hope. No, it's much worse than that. I'm all attention. I know it sounds idiotic. But the other evening, during the seance, something happened. Aha! I knew it! Probably a poltergeist. They're enormously cunning, you know. They sometimes lie doggo for days. You know that my husband was married before? Yes, I have heard it mentioned. His first wife, Elvira, died comparatively young. Where? Here, in this house, in this very room. Beginning to see daylight. She was convalescing after pneumonia, and one evening she started to laugh helplessly at one of the BBC musical programmes and died of a heart attack. And she materialised the other evening after I had gone. Not to me, but to my husband. Oh, capital! Capital! Oh, but that's splendid! From your own professional standpoint, I can see that it might be regarded as a major achievement. A triumph, my dear. Nothing more nor less than a triumph. But from my own personal point of view, it is to say the least of it embarrassing. At last, at last, the genuine materialization. Please do sit down again, Madame Arcati. Oh, how could anyone sit down at a moment like this? It's tremendous. I haven't had such a success since the Sudbury case. Nevertheless, I must insist upon you sitting down and controlling your natural exuberance. I appreciate fully your pride in your achievement, but I should like to point out that it has made my position in this house untenable and that I hold you entirely responsible. Forgive me, Mrs. Condamine. I am being abominably selfish. How can I help you? 